Hey, what is going on guys? Rudalinel here coming back at you with some more Python tutorials and I'm a little excited to teach this series because I actually need to teach this series as sort of like a segue or at least a jumping off platform into a, a new series that I want to put out for you guys. So, in this, uh, in these few tutorials and this couple of videos, I want to show you guys how to use the zip file module in Python. So, I'm going to go ahead and save uh, a new file in my Python folder. I'm just going to call this a uh, zip file. And I think we can call this um, 00, maybe like create file dot Python. Because it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pretty easy. But I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a cool new learning platform, and if you guys are ever using, you know, zip files, which probably a lot of you guys are, because it's a really cool way to collect all your files into one location, it's a good compression standard, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I, I just really want to teach this, guys, teach this to you, and uh, stuff like that. I'm having some trouble typing and speaking at the same time, so I'm going to shut up, and uh, it looks like we're in a good spot here. So, yeah, the module that I want to show you guys is zip file. If we hop over to Google and if we just look online, Python zip file, you can see there's plenty of documentation for it as as with like practically any module in Python. So we can look through this, see a lot of the cool stuff that it does. Um, there are plenty of functions and variables that we can work with, exceptions to look through if they if we have any problems when we're looking at some some objects and cool zip file stuff, but I'm just going to spew out an example to um, show us how we can use this and what we're going to really do. So, really, really simple. I just want to introduce this topic to you guys and show you how we can actually set this up. Um, we're going to create a zip file. And it's not going to do anything. It's just going to be a zip file. So, this video almost has no purpose other than showing you guys this is what we're going to be using, telling you the name of the module, and introducing this to you. Because the way that we're going to set this up is we can just say zip file. That is the uh, object initializer. If you it imported a zip file the regular way, like import zip file like you see me had just earlier, then you would have just used zip file dot zip file as your function, but I'm just going to include it. I'm going to import everything from the zip, the zip file module, so I don't need that other one. So, zip file. Uh, let's set up a file name. Can equal um, shopping.zip. And then we can just say uh, file name, because the first argument is obviously going to be the file name of the zip file that we want to create. And typically, you're going to be reading in zip files when you're using this module. So, to actually create one, we need to set up a mode or a specific parameter as if we were like opening a file with Python's default, you know, uh, file opening process. We'd always use a, a W to set up a mode and tell them that we're going to use this as a, a writing object. We can actually write things into the file. So we do the same thing with zip file. We actually just pass in W. <laughs> and that way we know, okay, we're actually going to create this file or at least overwrite anything that was already there with um, shopping zip. And uh, we should be good to go. If I run this, you can see there are no problems. If I bring over a terminal here, I can ls and blah, 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 blah. What do I have here? Let's see if I can find it. What did I call it? Shopping dot zip okay there's nothing here right now this actually is a good segue my failure is a good thing so when we create something we actually need to be able to close it and this is really really important with zip file I know I kind of encourage it when we're using like any old file descriptor in Python but it's absolutely necessary when you're working with the zip file module because if you make any changes if you add anything or remove anything or extract anything from the zip file then the actual file itself needs to be updated and it needs to keep everything intact so let's just say that the zip archive is going to be this object that it returns and what we're going to end up doing is closing that zip archive when we're done our program which would be this case right now so this finishes running now if I ls we still have no we still have no um, create file and that's because by default 
it will create the file in your folder that you are currently in. Now, because we're in a Python zip file, you can see right down here, it's in my home directory. I'm going to CD over there, CD into blah, 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 zip file. Now we know that shopping.zip actually exists. Okay, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little embarrassing. It took me two times to figure that out. But it's a good thing that that did happen, though, because I got across the close function, and you know that it will create it in the current directory that you're, that you're in. So shopping.zip file actually exists. If I open this up in a uh, file manager, you can see it's right there. I can open this. Uh, there's nothing in it right now, but in the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be adding some cool stuff into it and uh, exploring how we can use this zip file module. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know it was a little scattered in this tutorial, but hey, uh, at least it was a learning experience for the both of us. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.